Four years ago at the last World Cup, I made a video called the Reject World Cup. Basically, I took all the teams that didn't qualify for the World Cup and put them in the competition instead of the teams that had qualified. And today we are doing it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have loaded up the FIFA 23 World Cup mode and we are going to be replacing all the teams in the group stages with teams that did not qualify. However, unfortunately, there are only 15 teams in the World Cup mode, not 32. So we're not going to be able to replace every single team within the groups. But I'm getting rid of all the big heavy hitters, all the teams that are most likely to win. And so this is what we've got left. Some groups are going to be maybe around about the same, but you are going to see a lot of new faces in this game mode for example in group a it's pretty well unchanged apart from the czech republic group b's got like northern ireland and and new zealand in it as well so there are going to be a lot of teams scotland's in there group e's got finland and bloody iceland so it is going to be a hoot let's see who will win the reject world cup again a look at the groups qatar ecuador senegal and the czech republic that's the only new team in group a Moving on, of course, over to Group B, though, you will see that there are other teams like Northern Ireland and New Zealand, Iran and Wales. They're obviously still in that group, but they can stay. Austria and Norway are going to enter Group C. You've got Ukraine and Hungary that are in Group D. I think it's Finland, Costa Rica. No, Costa Rica is already in there. Iceland as well. Scotland and Ireland. You've got Romania and Serbia. Italy, of course, didn't make it. I can't believe that's the team that didn't. You've got Sweden, Ghana, China and Korea Republic for the other one. Who will be the king of the rejects? We're going to start this off by simulating all the groups just to see who finishes where. Then we'll move on to the knockout stage. Now, beginning things off with Group A. Not a surprise to see Senegal top of that group, but the Czech Republic do find a way, not even on goal difference, on goals scored, to find a way into uh, the next round. In Group B, we have Wales pushing on forward and Northern Ireland, the other team, New Zealand, that, uh, that we included in. They're pretty well done and dusted, so see you later. That's it for them. In Group D, we'll look at Group C in a second. Don't worry, we haven't skipped it. Tunisia finish on top, and Ukraine in second. Hungary don't make it through. Australia with a stinker. What are we doing, guys? For Christ's sakes, we didn't get a single point, even in the Reject World Cup. Group C, we saw Poland on top. Austria coming in second place. So a decent amount of teams that actually made the World Cup and then reject teams that are still pushing on forward. But Norway didn't make it out. That's crazy. So no Haaland in the knockout stage. Morocco finishing on top with Ireland also tied on seven points. Scotland also having a bit of a stinker. Not a single... Is that even a goal? No, they've had three goals scored, but they didn't get any points at all. Group E, Finland topping the group. Okay. And Costa Rica, Japan and Iceland... They're going to be going home. I think there's only about two more groups, I think, from this point on. Moving on now to, I believe, Group H. It's Korea and China. The two Asian nations beat Ghana and Sweden. I would have thought Sweden would have been, maybe not a lock, but would have been a pretty good chance of getting out. Didn't happen for them, though. And in Group G, the other group, it's Serbia and Cameroon. So the two nations, the two reject nations, Romania and Italy, that we put into that group, they don't make it through, and that's it. We have got, then, our knockout stage. It is going to be Senegal versus Northern Ireland. We've got Poland versus Ukraine, Wales versus the Czech Republic, Tunisia versus Austria. And on the other side of the bracket, you've got Finland versus Ireland, Serbia versus uh, China, Morocco versus Costa Rica, and then finally, Cam... No, wait. Yeah, Cameroon versus Korea. And very quickly moving on with all of them, we've got Senegal versus Northern Ireland. That one finishing 2-1 there. Poland versus Ukraine. Poland end up winning that one 2-1 as well. So the Ukraine are dumped out in the round of 16. It'll be Poland and Senegal, two actual World Cup nations facing off. Austria completely annihilating Tunisia there. 4-0 victory for them. They will face the winner of Wales versus the Czech Republic. And Wales will just about beat them 3-2. So, okay, that's two of the uh, teams, or what am I saying? Four of the teams decided right there. We've got Finland taking down Ireland 1-0. I would not have expected Finland to go as far as they have, but they are. Fair play to them. Serbia, they ended up taking down China. So another actual World Cup team still going in. I hope one of the teams that make the final, at least one, is one of the reject nations. We'll find out. Can't believe Italy aren't going through. It was nuts. Morocco have beaten Costa Rica 3-1. So there you go. They push on. And the final team in the quarterfinals, will it be Korea? It will be over Cameroon with a 2-0 victory there. So we have dwindled it down to eight teams in this reject World Cup sim. 
Next up is Senegal versus Poland. Senegal do keep going. So, no matter what, we are going to have one of the actual qualified World Cup nations in the final. It will either be Wales or Senegal. It's not a bad matchup, that one, in all honesty, but still pushing on. We've got Finland, Serbia, Morocco, and Korea. In fact, Finland's the only nation that's not actually at the World Cup that's still in it. So I'm kind of secretly cheering for them. They're going to they're gonna have to take on Morocco if they beat Serbia. That is if they beat Serbia. Korea's been knocked out. 3-0 loss there for them. But who's it going to be? Finland or Serbia? It's a 4-1 win. Timo Puki doing bits. And can you believe it? Finland are one game away from the reject World Cup final after taking down Serbia. That's a mad scoreline. A 4-1 win. Recap of the quarterfinals again, Wales 3-1 victory, Senegal 2-1 win, Morocco 3-0 win, and Finland a 4-1 win as well. Semi-finals, Senegal-Wales, Finland-Morocco, who is going to make it through? The first nation in the World Cup final, will it be Senegal? Will it be Wales? It will be Wales! Wales with a 2-1 win, and Gareth Bale, who else, will deliver the winning goal. Wales are going into the final, will it be Finland that meets them, will it be Morocco that meets them? Here we go then, Finland, Morocco, is it going to be Finland or Morocco? It is going to be Finland, a late charge from Morocco, but Finland did the damage early and a 3-2 win and the reject World Cup final, we've waited four years, it will be Wales versus Finland in the World Cup reject final. A quick little sim of the Morocco sim as well. Like, yeah, Senegal, Morocco. That one finishes 1-0. So Morocco's third place. Cool. But the final is Wales versus Finland, who will be reject World Cup champions. If only we had a few more heavy hitter nations that aren't actually, you know, in the game that didn't qualify for the World Cup. But we have got an actual qualified World Cup team versus Finland here of all the nations. Not Italy, not like Norway or anyone else. No, it's Finland that could win it all. Are they going to be the ones though? We do a quick sim of the final for Wales versus Finland. Surely keep your eye on Gareth Bale. Wales with the ball going forward, attacking early. A strike, hitting the post, and who else? Gareth Bale gives Wales the lead early on, or at least about 30 plus minutes in, should I say. Another swipe at it, not quite working out that time. It finishes 1-0 the first half, into the second. Wales with another attempt. Finland were a bit quiet, it's got to be said. And at around about the 90 minute mark, Wales still push forward. Only a oh, seconds of stoppage time. Finland won't have it. They won't. It's over. It's done. And it was Wales that won the reject World Cup in this simulation. Finland fair play just for even getting to the final. But Wales saw it out. They are reject world champions. So there you have it then, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a, a unique video again. I pre-recorded all of this. But Wales are going to be the reject World Cup champions. Yes, that is a voice break. Oh, God damn it. Gareth Bale is the goal scorer in the final, and he is the one that gets it done for them. Absolutely ridiculous. Simple little 1-0 victory in the end for Wales. Finland don't quite make it. That is the simulation done. Quick little look at the top goal scorers in this reject World Cup as well. Uh, Bale is not going to win the golden boot. It's actually going to be Munir for Morocco with eight. Bale with seven went off, however, nonetheless. But he's only going to have to settle for being a World Cup captain winning let me re let me try that again a world cup winning captain that makes more sense although no it doesn't no it doesn't at all wales winning the world cup i mean absolute nuts but hey that is the reject world cup for 2022 technically fifa 23 Hope you've all enjoyed. Again, not really the sort of style that I typically make this video. Again, it's all pre-recorded. I went all the way over to London to, to record all of this early, so it's a little bit different. Hope you don't mind. It'll be back to normal as per. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so by clicking the link in the description down below or the link, the bloody button. You know, you've been on YouTube for long enough, surely. It's only been like 15 years. Don't forget to like, though, if you have indeed enjoyed, and I'll see you all for the next one. Catch you later, and bye-bye.